we have thus been committed to fostering a culture of peace. Mr. Abbas, you inspire a culture of hate within Palestinian society. Rejection, rejection of violence, pursuit of sustainable development and the building of schools, hospitals. You name schools and public squares in honor of terrorists. You encourage your children to hate by teaching them in school that Jews are descendants of apes. As opposed to establishing weapons factories and purchasing tanks and fighter jets. In 2017, you spent $345 million paying terrorists for killing innocent Israelis. That is 50% of total foreign aid donated to the PA. 50% of your money. The price of one tank can build a school. The price of one fighter jet can build a hospital. This is money you could have spent building 40 hospitals. This is money you could have used to build 172 schools every year. We really want for our people to live in freedom and dignity, far from wars and destruction, and far from terrorism and extremism. Just this month, your Fatah faction praised the terrorist who killed Rabbi Raziel Shevach, and you remained silent and refused to condemn the terrorist who killed a father of six as he was driving home to see his children. We are determined to remain committed to the political, diplomatic and legal path far from any violence through political negotiations and dialogue, which we have never rejected, never rejected. Since the day it took office, peace plan after peace plan has been accepted by Israel and rejected by Mr. Abbas. How can it be said that it is we who reject nego negotiations? We have never refused any invitation to participate in negotiations. For the past seven and a half years, the chairman of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, has refused to meet even once with Prime Minister Netanyahu. Please do not say that we rejected negotiations. We believe that negotiations are the only path towards the peace. So how can we reject negotiations? He has refused to negotiate peace. Yet, during that same time, Mr. Abbas has made seven trips here to the United Nations. We are ready to undertake the longest journeys. I am ready to take the longest journey, even though I hate to walk and everybody knows that. Today, once again, rather than driving just 12 minutes, 12 minutes between Ramallah to Jerusalem, he has chosen to fly 12 hours to New York to avoid the possibility of peace. We will continue to extend our hands to make peace. When we extend a hand, Abbas extends a fist. Only when the terrorists of Hamas extend a hand does Abbas embrace them with open arms and without preconditions. East Jerusalem is part of the Palestinian territory. It is occupied since 1967 and it is our capital. Let me be clear. For thousands of years, Jerusalem has been the heart and soul of our people. Jerusalem has been our capital since the days of King David, and Jerusalem will remain the undivided capital of the State of Israel forever. It is our capital, which we wish to be a city open, open to all faithful, or all the faithful of the three monotheistic religions. He said, and I quote, the Jews had no rights to the Temple Mount and other holy sites. Especially Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. And the Jews desecrate them with their filthy feet. Our problem is not with the followers of Judaism, no. He had the audacity to accuse Jews 
of supporting anti-Semitism in order to promote Zionism. We are the descendants of the Canaanites that lived in the land of Palestine 5,000 years ago and continuously remained there to this day. Mr. Abbas, you have made it clear with your words and with your actions that you are no longer part of the solution, you are the problem. Thank you so much. أشكر أشكر فخامة الرئيس محمود عباس رئيس دولة فلسطين. I thank His Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas, President of the Observer State of Palestine, for his statement. Thank you. الرئاسة تشكر ممثل إسرائيل والآن. I thank the representative of Israel.